let's learn a little bit more about Wondershare Drive, which is a place where you get to store and manage your files. So in the previous lessons, we did learn about Wondershare Drive, but we briefly went over the topic. But in today's lesson, we're going to learn more about it and see how we can make the best use out of this option. So to access your Wondershare Drive, you can go to this cloud icon right here. It's next to your profile. We uploaded these in the previous lesson. You can see we have some projects with the extension WFP, Wondershare Filmora project, and some videos with MP4 format and an audio file with MP3. There is no limit on the type of video that you get to upload to Wondershare Drive. And when you export a video, you have the option to upload it here as well. We'll take a look at that soon. But let's take a look at what we have here. There are some uh, details about each of these files. We can see the size of each of these files. And if you remember from a previous lesson, there were two types of projects that you were able to save. We learned that Filmora projects do not store the videos and content that you used in them. So therefore, they will only have the data and the, the size is really small. But we learned about another way to store and save our project in a more efficient way, meaning that we are also saving the footage that we used in that project. Next to that, we can see whether they were uploaded or not. You can see they were all uploaded successfully with 100% rate success. Next to that, we have a share option. So I can click on it and I can get the sharing form. We'll take a look at this later. Let's go back here. We have the option to delete any of these. I'm going to delete uh, cars and there we go. It's gone. If I want to manage my Wondershare drive further, I can head down to this box right here where I can see the expiration date and um, learn more about the Wondershare drive. You can see the frequently asked questions right here. Learn more about the drive. I can go to my drive right here. So if you're familiar with how to use Google Drive, using Wondershare Drive should be easy for you. Let's go back to Filmora. And right over here, you can go straight to the managing part of the Wondershare Drive or expand your uh, storage space. By default, when you get a subscription, you will get about one gigabyte of space, but you could go ahead and purchase more if you find that you do not have enough space for your videos. So let's go back to uh, Google Chrome where I have opened my personal space in my Wondershare Drive. So right here we have Cloud Drive, which is where you get to upload. And if you click this down, you have the option to upload a singular file and a folder. Let's go ahead and test it out. Go to upload, hit file, and I'm going to upload the singular photo. Hit open, and it's going to show up here. The progress, you can pause it, cancel, minimize this, or uh, just get rid of it. And you can see the progression. I can go ahead and minimize this, and now I have my singular file over here, where I can view the date that it was modified. Uh, and the time, which is right now, and also how large this file is. I can go in these uh, three dots to either download it, move it to another folder, copy, star, rename, delete, add a description, and see the details. Let's go ahead and copy this. And I can choose a folder that I want to put it in. Let me just make a folder first. Click away from your selected item. And now let's add a folder. Upload folder. And I'm going to bring this thing in. And we can still see the progress bar. It's all going in my folder. So we're just going to let these upload. Let's minimize. Don't close it. Just minimize it. And now let's make a folder on the drive by going to new folder. Let's name this. Filmora folder. Hit OK. And now I have Filmora folder. So I'm going to move this image to my Filmora folder. You can click the checkbox right here to select the file and then head over to move. 
Now the difference between move and copy is that move will uh, change the location of this file, but copy will create another duplicate and place that duplicate in your new destination. So let's go ahead and copy it first. Hit copy, copy to, personal space, fill more a folder. Copy here. There we go. So now I have a copy. Let's double click. I have a copy of my image in this new folder. Let's go back to default. And now I want to move this photo, which I can click and see the preview. And we also have some options down here to zoom in and zoom out. You can also snap the photo to full screen right here. You can rotate the image to one side and rotate it to another side. So clockwise and counterclockwise. Flip the image horizontally and flip the image vertically. So whatever I do here is not permanent, which means that whatever I do here will not be applied to the image that I download. So let me just make this and then hit this download icon. And now let's see the image. So you can see that the image that I downloaded is nothing like the image we had here. And that's because these are not permanent to the file, but only for you to see a uh, display. Maybe you want to see it like this before sharing it with your colleague. And you just want to check to see the quality of the image. I can share this once I'm satisfied with it. If you hit share, you are allowing people to view this file with Wondershare Drive. So permissions. You can allow preview, allow them to see the photo or the file, limit the number of previews, which means they cannot always come back and see this image. If you click that, you can put the amount of times that they are allowed to come see this uh, image, change the number over here if you'd like, allow saving or downloading. If you want the person to download it or save it, you can leave this checked. But if you do not want them to save or download this image, you can check off the box. You can limit the save or download times, just like we did for here. Click on this and you can change the number. Only enterprise users can access this. If it's an important file, I would recommend turning this on. And then we can put passwords for this file. Access to the password. Type in your password, one, two, three put a bunch of numbers and then you have a validity period. So for us, it's within seven days. You can, you can choose a date right here, 30 days, one day, or just leave it permanently. So they cannot, they don't need to rush to download this. You can turn this off if you don't want them to put in a password. And this, I believe, not sure what this is. It's Chinese. Uh, but here we have a description, so I can be like, uh, what do you think about this photo? And then I can create share. And now I'm getting a link that I can just send it to my colleague, copy the link right here, copy success, and maybe share it via messages, WhatsApp, or any other platform. They can just click on this and they can just go in it. Let me just make a new tab, paste it here, delete the link, hit OK, and I'm able to view this file. There we go. And I'm able to view this file. I can also zoom in, zoom out, snap it to full screen, uh, make it actually full screen, hit uh, exit, uh, rotate it, flip it, and if I have multiple photos shared with me, I can go to the next one, but that's the end of it. Let's hit X here. And I'm also seeing the date modified, the size. I can go in this thing right here, download it or save it to uh, your space if you have a Drive account. So let's go back, delete this. I can also use this QR code to scan it with my phone to see this image. But then you would have to download it. I can start this message if it's important, rename the file. Instead of this, I have a mockup maybe. Hit OK. Delete the file if I need to and view the details. Everything I need to know about it will show up right here. We also have a search bar over here. So if I need to find mockup, 
hit enter, I can find it easily. We can filter through different things. Go over here. We have by modification date, by creation time, by file size, and by name. So this is sorting it out. You can see them as boxes or as details. Select them all and maybe star them, copy them, move them, download them. Hit cancel. Whatever you star, as you can see, I have a star next to these two, will show up over here. So these are my starred files. And I still have the option to change modification, uh, change the sort by option, the grid view, select it, and search in starred. We can also see the stuff that we shared. So I shared this file a couple of days ago and you can just view the stuff that is shared. You can unshare it. So we're going to take a look at how we can share from Filmora. And basically, if I shared this with someone and I changed my mind, I can unshare this so they no longer have access to this video. I can view the details right here, see the link, maybe copy it for myself. Let's see how we can save projects and files from Filmora, the program. Let's go in Filmora and I'm just going to do something simple. I can go ahead and hit export right over here. Export it as mp4 and upload it to my cloud. Warrior. And hit export. There we go. It will show me the output first. And as you saw, it went over here. Said OK. It went in this cloud and it's currently uploading. You can cancel or delete the file. It reached 100. So now it should be on my cloud right here. I'm going to search for warrior and there's my video. If I want to see where it is, I can go in these three little dots and look at the details where I can view the location, my videos, Filmora warrior. So if I want to find this, I can go in that path or hit move, just move it to personal space. Here is warrior. Let's go back to Filmora and try to share this warrior, um, video with someone else. So I will just, I'll just go in this cloud. This needs to be green. Go ahead and hit this icon where you get the sharing form. You can give an access code or no code. This is my uh, access code. Let's write A, B, C, 4. This is my code. So the person who receives this needs to type in this code. I can put a validity period, one day, seven days, 30 days, hit create link. And now I can go ahead and copy this. Let's go over here, paste it, delete the link. Let's delete password over here. And now I need to put the entry key, A, B, C, four. View now. And now I can see this video. Download the video only or download Filmora expires in seven days and we can see the date that this was shared with me. And let's say I want to keep this project. You can go to file, save as, save it to my desktop. Let's write warrior. I'm also going to archive my project as we learned. Hit save. And now I can close this. Go to recent project. We have two warrior projects. This was the archived version, which as we said, contains the video in the project. So if I want to share this with someone and I want them to continue editing it, I need to make sure it's an archived project so they don't have to get the video from me separately. And you can see the difference in size. Now let's go ahead and upload both of these to my drive. Click on these once. So I uploaded them. Let's head over to the Wondershare drive and I need to go to application Filmora uh, project. You can see Warrior is right here. Warrior. It's a lot of folders. I could just go back to my personal space and look for Warrior. There we go. So there's the Wondershare Filmora project. I can also go back to Filmora and share this like that with the same sharing form that we learned about. 
And that's all there is about the Wondershare drive. Make sure to save your important projects onto your drive so you do not lose them. And now that we know how to manage and work with our files on this platform, we can now move on and learn about working with proxies.